Hey y'all and welcome to Bonner's Market and welcome to the What Would You Make Challenge. This challenge is where we take things obviously with wood and make a creation. It is hosted by Zaina at OK at Home DIY and Marsha at Marsha's Mushing Stuff. And I have some good news to share with you today. I am a brand new plaid ambassador and I am so excited to be able to partner with them and bring their products to you. I had been using their products for years and had no idea. Some of the brands that they have are Apple Barrel, Bucilla, Delta, Fabric Creations, Folk Art, Gallery Glass, Martha Stewart, Mod Podge, which I use a ton of, One Stroke Plaid, Plaid FX, and Waverly, which if you've been on my channel for any length of time, you know is my all-time favorite. So I'll tell you more about them, but let's jump into DIY number one. This is a Lazy Susan wood round. I made this for a very special friend. Now what I do is I get my wood rounds from Home Depot and they're kind of rough sometimes. So I bring them home, sand them down really good. And this stain is English chestnut by Verathane. You just take a little rag or something and wipe the stain on let it dry, which here in Florida is no time at all. Once it's dried, I like to bring it inside and give it a good coat of polyurethane. That's going to seal that stain in and also give me a better base for my paint whenever I put my stencil on. Now, some people like to polyurethane at first and some people don't even do that step. So, I had already cut my design out for this little lazy susan so i'm going to put my stencil down which is the initial of their last name get it in place and then i'm using some truffle waverly chalk paint which is a plaid brand product and it just wasn't dark enough so i grabbed my ink waverly chalk paint which is also a plaid brand product and just added a little bit to it by dabbing it while it that Truffle was still really good and wet, and it just mixed together to give me that really pretty dark brown color that I was trying to achieve. Once that dried, I just removed that stencil, put my next stencil down, and get ready to finish up this little piece. Now, I'm just going to add the name, the word the at the top of the S, and family at the bottom of the S. So it says the Sarah family. And then this time I'm going to go in with some ivory chalk paint from guess who? Waverly Plaid Products. Uh, Y'all, I'm just so excited. I can't even stand myself. This is my first endorsement and I am stoked. Super excited to bring you these products. I have been using these products for years and had absolutely no idea who Plaid was. So when I found out and was able to partner with them, it was just a perfect match. So now you see me going back over it again with another coat of the polyurethane to seal everything in, measure for my placement of my Lazy Susan, place my handles, and voila, there we go. My wood round is finished. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this Lazy Susan and how easy was that? I mean, anybody can do it. You can do it. Trust me, if Brenda can do it, you can do it. Now let's jump right on into DIY number two. This is a noodle board and these things are massive and they are extremely intimidating. But listen, do not be intimidated by this. This was the easiest thing I have ever done in my life. So I like to cut my own wood, but you do not have to do that. If you don't have the tools, you can go to your local Home Depot or whatever store you have that sells lumber. You're going to need four 29 and a half pieces of a one by six and two 22 inch pieces of a one by two. And that's it. They will cut it for you, get it ready for you, and you just take it home and finish it. Like I said, I like to cut my wood, but to each his own. Then you take your wood pieces. I like to line them up, make sure they're really, really good and even. And then I use Gorilla Wood Glue. That works wonderful for me. And then I have a Brad Nailer that is super easy to use. And I love my power tools. 
I don't know. They just make me feel like I can do anything. So anyway, I get my other end to go on and my grandson walked out about the time I went to do this and offered to help. So I let him. So he just kind of pulled the pieces in so I can make sure they were good and tight before I put my next piece down. And then you just nail it down. And that's really the hardest part about making this noodle board. And you can see from what I just showed you, there is nothing hard about making this. If you don't have a brad nailer, you can use a hammer and nails. Easy peasy, no problem. And then after you get it all put together, you just need to stain it or paint it, whatever you're going to choose to do. Now, I'm using this Varathane walnut color to stain mine. Well, actually, it was dark walnut. But anyway, and then I went to my Cricut and I made this form of the noodle board and sized it the way it would be, put my name on there, and sort of got my dimensions. I put my stencil down after I got it cut out, and I like to use the Mod Podge to go in and make just give it a really good seal. This is something I learned later after I was doing this for a while. And then when you put your paint down, it's all sealed in and you don't have any runs or any leaks or anything like that. So as you see, I forgot this little spot up here on the top left of V. So I just took a piece of the thing that I pulled up and cut it off and made it work. Then I went back over it one more time with my polyurethane to seal it all in, flipped it over, added my hardware. My little honey was coming home from work whenever I was in the process of this, and he stopped and helped me. Y'all, that man is my heartbeat. But anyway, he helped me get my handles on, and that was it. How much easier does this get? So if you've ever seen those things and people are charging anywhere between 75 and 150 and up for these noodle boards, you can literally do it for about now when I was did this back in December, I was making a ton of them because I had so many orders for them. I was only spending about $15 for my plywood or not plywood but for my boards. Now wood has gone up like crazy so it's going to be just a little bit more expensive but not too much but you're not going to be spending 75 dollars and up to make your own and you have the pride of knowing that you made it so those are what i have for you today this was the what would you make challenge i just want to thank Zaina and marcia for putting this on and allowing me to be a part of this playlist make sure you go down below and watch what everybody else has created for you today if you're not already subscribed to Modern's Market, I would love for you to stick around for a little while. But definitely give me a big thumbs up if you like what you saw today. So hopefully you'll come back and I will see you again. Bye now.